So we've got a couple of questions in the chat and we're going to jump around a little bit uh, here. I think let's go to a question from Dotem. How do you convince employees to connect the dots between the benefit of adding in the experiential and learning through others to the formal learning and, and how it contributes to career goals? Maybe a, a buy-in from employees sure. uh, angle to that. Yeah. And, and again, there's multiple ways in which we can do that. One is make sure that you're communicating what you do as a, a, a learning team, what your job is, where your role is, where you fit in, and what you expect from them and what they should expect from you. So getting clarity of purpose, clarity of role, and aligning that is, is really critical. But also, I'm an optimist, uh, and I think that most people want to do a good job. I think that very rarely we find people who really don't care, but most people want to do a good job. And also the research shows that people who do a good job, people who are good performers are much more engaged in their organization. Again, it's we could spend a whole hour talking about this. The assumption is that if we improve employee engagement, that's going to reflect in higher performance. There's no evidence to show that occurs at all. In fact, the evidence by Michael Riketa, a German academic, did a meta study that showed that higher performing individuals and teams are likely to be much more engaged in their work and engaged with their organization than lower performing, but more engaged employees are not necessarily likely to be higher performance. But we'll leave that to one side. So I think that, as I say, in answer to your question about how do we get people involved, you do it by involving them, but also by showing some success, demonstrating some success. If you can work with a team that maybe are working with some challenging issues and you can provide input and you can demonstrate that you're helping deliver better results, they'll come back to you. You know, they'll see you as a partner in terms of delivering their what, whatever they happen to do, whether they're in retail and it's about customer satisfaction, it really doesn't matter. If you can demonstrate and help them do their jobs better, and I've always said that, you know, the job, my job as a learning and development person, when I was a, a, a chief learning officer, my job was to help people and our organizations do their work better. That's all it's about. So it's nothing more than that. So if you can demonstrate that, that's that's the key thing. And actually, you have to talk about it. You have to explain and have to... The, the Citibank project that we worked on, they did huge sort of internal awareness raising. So you get into elevators and they have a whole lot about, you know, the Be More program and their 30-day challenges they had and all these sorts of things. So they really communicated well. And actually, my experience is a lot of, of people in our area of work are not great at that, but we do have colleagues who do that. So, you know, think about working closely with your internal marketing department, your corporate communications people, because they're really good at that. That's what they do. So make sure that you're really sharing, letting people know what you do when you have successes and how you can help them.